Hi, my name is David Brown and today I want to show you how to use Turnitin at Dalton State College. The good news is, is Turnitin is already in your GeorgiaView course. You just have to go activate it. Uh, to activate Turnitin in your course, simply go to your course in GeorgiaView and click Assignments. That used to be called the Dropbox. After you click Assignments, you're going to start a new folder. And if it's an existing folder, by the way, that you want to uh, add turn it into you can click the drop down list and do edit submission folder and we'll look at that more closely but for a new submission folder you will click new submission folder and you have to name your folder before you can activate turn it in I'm just going to call it test and here you will see the turn it in tab you will click the turn it in tab and then select enable turn it in for this folder after you select that you'll see this go in a circle for a few minutes and now turn it in is ready um, you can do more advanced options here in more options you can also click here to allow your students to see their scores I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, this way the students would see the score before you do um, there's also something called Grademark in Turnitin we'll talk about, and by default that is available um, seven days after you enable Turnitin, but you can edit this to whenever you want, and we'll talk about Gradebook, Grademark in a second. Um, once you select this, you simply click Save and Close, and now you'll see this folder you created, and it's got the symbol. The symbol lets you know you have Turnitin enabled. Now that you have turned it in enabled, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to go in this folder I created earlier, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when your students use it. And here is what happens. They turn their paper in to the assignment folder, and you get a score here. And they get the score here, too, if you check that check mark we looked at earlier. Um, this score, I'm going to go ahead and click it. Let's click this one. Um, it links right into Turnitin. So your students don't have to log in to Turnitin, and neither do you. Once you click that link, and you won't get this message. This is a previously expired paper. But once you click in here and turn it in, you get all kind of nice options over here. Um, you get quick marks. I'll show you quick marks. Quick marks allow you to quickly add comments to your paper. And basically the way it works, if this was, um, you, you just drag these over to the paper and let go. And you see, here's, here's one commonly confused here uh, that was moved from here over to here. So you click and drag these over. Um, similarity score is here where it says 61 percent if you click on that it tells you where the similarity came from what sources in this number will always be uh, existing no one really has a zero percent score but once it gets over 20 30 percent is when you would get concerned and here it shows where this potential plagiarism could have occurred and this is what you would talk to your student about. Um, there are other options here. One of my favorites is this download option that lets you download this report as a PDF. And um, I hope you'll take a look at this. And you can actually put a number in here. Um, what I do is I grade my papers in Georgia View, and I don't use this number. Um, I mainly use the overview when I teach a class to communicate with the students the concerns about possible plagiarism and many times it's unintentional. Um, now what's really nice uh, when you're using this, I'm going to close out of it, um, it's always there. So if I were to go back in here, it stays, um, it's still there. Any kind of things you did to change 
any kind of quick marks you added or comments, um, it's still going to be there. So Turnitin is a really nice tool and um, I hope you'll use it. And if you have any questions, let me know. And um, remember, it goes into the assignments folder, and we'll be glad to help you. Uh, thank you very much.